right, so we're talking about the uses of minerals. Um, make sure that you have um, your notes in front of you that were given to you today in class. Um, you know, you can go to my website and print out another copy if you need to. Um, hopefully your dog didn't eat it already. Alrighty, so some uses of minerals. Um, so some minerals that we kind of looked at were sulfur, gypsum, feldspar, aluminum, copper, mica, diamonds, and silver. Um, if we're starting at the top with sulfur, that was that yellow looking thing. Um, <clears throat> you can use it for matches, fertilizer, sulfuric acid, gypsum, drywall, um, which is mostly in your walls. Um, feldspar is used for porcelain and pottery. Aluminum um, is used for cans like Coke, can, Coke cans, things like that. Copper is pennies, um, you know, the actual penny for money. Um, mica is used in paints and even cosmetics, which is like makeup and things like that. Diamonds are usually used for jewelry and drills because they are the hardest mineral um, on the hardness scale, which we'll learn about in a little bit. And silver is used in coins, mirrors, jewelry, tableware, things like that. Um, some more minerals are halite, which is just table salt, which is kind of funny that you put a mineral on some of your foods or even your french fries. Um, graphite is used for pencils. Um, fluorite is in your toothpaste. Um, kernite is soap. Gold is used for sometimes teeth, jewelry, electronics, and computers. Galena is lead, used for batteries. Um, quartz is used for glass, paint, laundry detergent, cooking surfaces, things like that. Talc is actually powder. This is also in um, makeup and things like that. Emery is used in nail files, so if you ever file your nails, um, emery is in that. And cinnabar is used in mercury. Um, some uses of some rocks, okay? So rock salt is the rock version of halite and this is um, <clears throat> actually used for numerous things you can use it for cooking um, and also for de-icing things or making things more icy um, clay is used in bricks and pottery granite is used for countertops which some of you might have granite countertops at your home um, tombstones and jade is used for little objects and things. it's kind of like turquoise um, and coal is a fossil fuel used for energy. Um, some igneous rocks, and let's see if I can move that. No, I can't. Um, <clears throat> but um, tombs and things like that, obsidian is used by Native Americans to make tools for cutting and scraping. Um, building materials, granite is used for that, and cleaning and polishing. Pumice is actually used for that, which is kind of cool too. Um, uses of sedimentary rocks. Sandstone is used for flooring, concrete, building materials. The White House actually has a lot of sandstone in it if you ever go take a tour of that. Um, limestone is used for building materials, making cement, and also chalk. Um, metamorphic rocks. Some two um, very important ones that we'll learn about a little bit later are marble and slate. Marble is used for expensive buildings and floors, statues, and furniture. The Taj Mahal in India is actually made of completely marble. So if you ever get a chance to go to India, take a look at that. You can say, oh, this is a metamorphic rock, if anybody around there actually cares about metamorphic rocks. Um, slate is used for flooring and roofing, outdoor walkways, and even chalkboards. Oh, there's a picture of the Taj Mahal for you um, if you never get a chance to go look at it. Um, you can review the uses of um, different things, and let's see if this will work. Alright, so this is a website that I got to work, um, where you can move your cursor over each image to see the common item made from that mineral. Um, so halite is up here, and if I put my cursor over it, you can see that table salt is used. Um, quartz is this one right here, and this is used for glass. Gypsum is this cool looking thing, and this is used for sheetrock. Um, gold is down here, it's used for jewelry, and graphite is used for pencils, um, and it's actually the lead that's in your pencil. Um, and fluorite is used for your toothpaste, so kind of cool to see um, all those different uses of minerals. If you go to the TELUS Museum later on this year, um, they have a whole entire section of uses of minerals that you can take a look at too.
So hopefully you learned a couple of different things about minerals and their uses. Um, so that way you can see that we actually use them every single day, even though they are non-renewable natural resources.